In today's video, let's take a look at um, Baba. Now this is a setup that already hit and held its zone and triggered entries on both, you know, 15 minute and a 30 minute chart. And the upside potential off of this low is to the 223 area. But this is the safest place to get in when it first tests and triggers an entry. So what do you do if you missed the original entry? Well, that we can take care of by going down to the lower time frame chart. Since there's still upside potential to this 223 area, I would still want to look at pullbacks, but I don't want you to be a buyer here, for example, and risk underneath here. That's a little bit too much. So let's take a look at the lower time frame chart and I'll show you what I would typically do. All right, so this, um, this one is in a buy mode with the 834 EMA crossed to the upside. And what we want to look at is um, possible support to use on a pullback to look for a secondary entry against the original setup. So taking these three prior high to low swings. Okay, those two are very similar. And then also this most recent one. All right, and then we can see if there are any other you know, retracements or extensions that set up. All right, and you know, here's the thing. We don't know which, if any of these zones are going to hold. So that's why we watch the zone. If it does hold, then you go down to the lower time frame chart and look for a buy trigger. So what I have as far as uh, an area that stands out this is one I would be more interested in is this 20251 to 20281 area. It includes two symmetry projections, a 236 uh, retracement and a 618 retracement of the prior swing. So that kind of stands out for a decision. It's not to say that this, you know, won't hold or support or this underneath here. I'm just saying that this is the area that stands out. And since we have not yet met the upside targets off of the original setup, um, that's why I'm looking for, um, you know, some new pullback decisions for secondary entries. Hope it helps.